Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Helmut and I'm here at our Mercedes Test and Technology Center in Immendingen. My colleague Tommy and I are about to show you one of the many new safety features of the upcoming S-Class. For this demonstration we are focusing on the feature Pre-Safe Impulse Sight, working together with the optional E-Active Body Control. So both systems I just mentioned work in tandem to reduce the risk of an injury when another car hits the S-Class roadside. Of course, we want to keep Tommy safe and that's why we are using a special target vehicle. Please, don't try this at home. So let's get the car ready and run the test. We'll put Tommy into position. Now the target is about to approach our new S-Class right here from the side. Radar sensors can recognize the impending side collision and send a signal to the control unit. And now our E-Active body control air suspension lifts the entire S-Class body by up to 8 cm. This, of course, depends on the triggering time and on the setting of the chassis during normal driving conditions. The approaching car is identified and then the S-Class is quickly lifted. Now, at a greater height, a larger part of the impact energy can be absorbed by the sill instead of the doors, so that the deformation of the side can be reduced. Passengers in both the front and rear seats can benefit from this function. And that's not all. The chassis lift function works together with pre-safe impulse side. With pre-safe impulse side, a rapidly inflating air cushion in the seat pushes the driver or front passenger on the affected side towards the center of the vehicle, right before a side crash. And of course, it doesn't matter whether such a critical crash situation happens left or right. The air cushions are integrated in both front seats. With features like these, we can further increase the level of safety no matter where you sit. I'm sure Tommy also appreciates this. So, looks like everything is fine. Right, Tommy? Thanks for watching and stay safe. Hello everyone, welcome to our proving ground here in Immendingen. We are here to show you a few of the ways in which we made the best car in the world even better. Jürgen, from what I've seen so far, your engineering team really did a great job. What we did is, we integrated a rear axle steering feature that makes the S-Class one of a kind. Depending on the speed and the steering wheel angle, the rear wheels move in the same or opposite direction of the front wheels. Above 60 km per hour, the wheels are steered in the same direction, which leads to more stability. Below 60 km per hour, the rear wheels move to the opposite direction. This results in more agility and also makes the car easier to steer. Thanks to the rear axle steering, the turning radius is reduced significantly by up to 2 meters. It's now comparable to that of the A-Class. Now that's a pretty small turning radius for such a large car. But what does this mean? What is the real life benefit? I can show you. The rear wheel steering also makes parking the new S-Class super convenient. With the steering angle of the rear axle of up to 10 degrees, Wow, seems like the S-Class has all the boxes checked in the agility category. Now, can I drive? Can I give it a shot, Jürgen? You should probably use the active parking assistance. Ah, Jürgen, you never trusted my parking. Wow, you guys went all out. The new S-Class really has all the bases covered. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this little insight into the ease of parking and driving with the new S-Class. Take care, see you soon, and always drive safely. 
Hello, everyone, and welcome to an all-new episode of Meet the S-Class Digital. Now, this is our second special about what many consider to be the best car in the world. And today, it's all about intelligence and innovation. And my guest to my left is Mercedes-Benz head of automated driving, Michael Hafner. Michael, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, Yasmin. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. We're thrilled. And as I just mentioned, the S-Class is called the best car in the world by many automotive experts, surely for good reason. And one of them is definitely the pioneering safety features. So maybe you can start out by telling us a little bit about those. I'm very happy to do so. Uh, I mean, uh, it has always been in the DNA of Mercedes-Benz to concentrate on safety. We introduced many safety innovations uh, to the world. Uh, two examples. Uh, nearly 40 years ago, we introduced the front airbag into our vehicles. And 25 years ago, it was the ESP system this, that was introduced by Mercedes-Benz. In the meantime, both innovations are available in nearly each car in the world. So that's a very long, very proud history. And today you've brought along some new innovations. Why don't you tell us why we're standing here, Michael? Well, we are looking at the rear seat airbag. Mm -hmm. And the rear seat airbag is uh, another f innovation, first ever in, uh, in industry. We showed it last year in our experimental safety vehicle, um, right in, in that setup here. Mm -hmm. And uh, that rear seat airbag takes into consideration very, very special situations in the rear of the vehicle. And this speaks to uh, one of the points that we established during our last episode of Meet the S-Class Digital, which is that you put a lot of focus on the rear seat passengers, also, of course, in terms of safety when it comes to your new flagship model, right? We did, and we did for good reasons, because especially in the S-Class, the most important people often sit in the rear of the vehicle. Uh, could be the boss, could be kids, <laughs> and you know, sometimes that's even the same person. That could be the right? same person, definitely. So what is so special about these rear seat airbags? Well, if, if you look at them, um, you see that it's not the complete cushion that is inflated by the gas uh, as it is in the front airbag, but here it's only tubular structures that are inflated by the gas. Right. And the rest of the structure is very flexible. It is uh, used ambient air that is sucked into the airbag rather than gas and that gives another flexibility into the system. And when you feel it right here, you can tell it is indeed extremely flexible right here, very sturdy. So this is, this is new, also in terms of design. This is not what we're used to. Uh, what's so special about this design we're seeing here now? Well, the speciality is the flexibility, and that is because in the rear of the vehicle, the spatial situations are quite different. You have adults sitting there, you have children, you have child seats in opposite directions or, or front directions, so totally different scenarios. And that's why we need a very, very flexible structure. And when we listen to you explaining this, then of course we notice that there are so many factors that come into consideration during development and planning, right? Absolutely. Uh, for example, where to put the airbag? Um, this is why the engineers came up with a, with a package that is easily packed into the rear of the front, front seat with a small uh, gas volume after the event. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the gas is in, in the tubes. Mm -hmm. And once the tubes would, uh, would encounter an obstacle or something, rather than just pushing and, and, and crashing into it, they can kind of wrap around it very flexibly. And that's why the whole structure adapts to the very situation of, of the crash. This class has long been considered the ultimate luxury sedan, and every generation seemingly introduces new features, gadgets, safety, and technology that eventually trickle down to its other cars. The official debut of the new S-Class happens September 2nd. Behind that steering wheel is a large and wide digital screen that displays information, gauges, or maps with impressive clarity. That information is complemented by a vast head-up display that provides the usual information. It also overlays navigation instructions and arrows onto the real world that make it nearly impossible to miss an upcoming turn. 